I'm uh, from Australia. I live in Queensland. I'm a 24-year uh, Air Force veteran. He complains about the rape shoulder pain, which is free of an accident about four months. And he has some investigation, but it doesn't know what definitive of diagnosis of him. So I sent him to x-ray to screen about the bone first, that no fracture or anything. After that, I suspected that he had some rotator cuff torn, so I sent him to investigate with MRI, and the MRI showed that he had a massive rotator cuff torn at the rib shoulder. This uh, rotator cuff, we had four tendons in this group. For him, he torn three of them. For his rotator cuff, is like this. Three of them torn and retract to the genoid. So we advise him to operate because he have a traumatic massive operator cup rib shoulder. We have two options for him. First is arthroscopic partial rotator cup repair because the torn is massive and retraction. Second one is a reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. After discussion, he should arthroscopic rotator cup repair because of the aim he want to repair the rotator cuff with his own tendon and he want to decrease pain at the first aim of this operation. We use the new technique is called bicep FCR or bicep superior capsula reconstruction. You use the bicep tendon to help the rotator cuff to repair to make more strength of the rotator cuff repair. And after the operation, we very happy about the operation because after two days, his pain is gone and he's really happy and after one week he can fly back to his home country. For the rotator cup repair, I can guarantee for him about the pain that will decrease after the operation. But about the range of motion, about of the power of shoulder, we need to see after the rehabilitation because that after the operation, another important part is the physiotherapy. If he follow the physiotherapist and Everything is under the process. I think the result will be good in the future. I've had this accident for four months and uh, I couldn't get through the system in Queensland and the pain was so much, I couldn't. I uh, had to do something to relieve the pain. I waited for four months and one day and an orthopedic surgeon in my area, he went on holidays and you can't go anywhere else. And it looked like I may see him after Christmas. So I went home, I just Googled really. And I saw this on the internet and my sisters said, wow, you, you take a chance and go there on your own. I said, I have to. I didn't even have an appointment here. I got here, I rang uh, international desk and, and proceeded from there. When the doctor saw the image, oh, he said massive, massive tear. So that's the only qualified way I found out what it was. I have been warned by your doctor that, uh, you know, if anything should happen, I could lose up to uh, 70%. But I'm right-handed, um, I'm no athlete anymore, <laughs> uh, so uh, if I have lost a little bit, uh, as long as uh, the pain subsides, uh, I, I really don't care. I really don't. I'm happy to go home. I'm quite happy that I came. That's how I felt. I can tell you now, I, I would give uh, any uh, recommendation that you wouldn't get better treatment than here. There isn't any. I wish I was sick so I could come back here. But I'm not. If you've ever had that sort of pain, it's, it's, uh, it needs attention. And I've certainly got it. Thank you.